your last $15,000 is an investment fund and the fund manager wants to charge you up to $4,400 each year to manage it. Is that a fair deal or a ripoff? Of course it's a ripoff. The only people who'd get away with charging you a 30% annual management fee on your own money would belong to organised crime gangs, right? On the 12th of September 2012, a manager from the Queensland Office of Public Trustee told this man, Clinton Vandenberg and myself, that they could charge up to $4,400 a year to manage his last $15,000. Here's a recording of that conversation. On, on the remaining $15,000, how much would the public trustee take to administer? I can't give you that definitive amount without projecting. All I can say is the maximum amount would be that, that fee that we discussed. And how much is that? Uh, $4,400, is, is that correct? That's right. Okay. The official records show that over 15 years, the Queensland Office of Public Trustee has charged Clinton more than $77,500 in fees. That's an average over $5,000 a year. The same records indicate the Office of Public Trustee lost more than $95,000 of Clinton's money in poor investments. If you, your family or friends have money invested in the Queensland Office of Public Trustee, you may be interested in Clinton's story. I um, had a major car accident in 1988, 26th of March, um, hit by a semi, um, oh, in the hospital for a, for a very um, long period of time, um, fractured my skull, shattered my elbow, causing um, major brain damage, um, which stuffed up my memory, um, my sight, my voice. Um, my balance. What order did the court give to um, management of my money was um, because of obtaining a major head injury, um, either having an um, administrator or handed to the public trustee of Queensland and it ended up being handed to the public trustee. How much did the public trustee manage after um, all expenses, including purchase of house, um, was approximately 550000 um, Over 15 years, um, it has been registered as $95,000 has gone missing. Did the bank statement um, from the public trustee explain the losses? No. The financial statements given out by the Queensland Office of Public Trustee is as clear as a bucket of mud. We had to calculate Clinton's losses by entering every deposit and withdrawal into a spreadsheet document that I'm happy to share with you. However, Clinton's losses are supported by three important investment documents provided to us by a manager of the Office of Public Trustee. The Office of Public Trustee Investment Growth Fund which shows a loss over five years of the growth component as negative 5.77%. The Office of Public Trustee Investment Higher Growth Fund, which shows a loss over five years of the growth component as negative 7.17%. And the Office of Public Trustee Investment Australian Equities Fund, which shows a loss over five years of the growth component as negative 7.44%. Do you know any politician or media organisation that has held the Queensland Office of Public Trustee to account over their investment losses? Why do politicians and bureaucrats think it's okay to force disabled people like Clinton to pay extraordinary financial management fees and charges? I've paid them over $77,500 for them to lose $95,000. Was there ever any explanation to why I have paid so over $77,000 in fees. No, all I've been told is that's their set amount. And full stop, just left at that. During the GFC, did Clinton ask the Queensland Office of Public Trustee to better protect his money? Yes, I went in there on 
two um, or three occasions requesting of them to um, remove my monies from investments to actually protect it and so that none's lost but my um, request was ignored and I was told oh just leave it where it is it's safe where it is and that was it. There'll be bureaucrats who will argue that everyone lost money during the GFC but not everyone was forced by law to hand over their assets to the unique management of the Office of Public Trustee. And oh yes, they are a monopoly in Queensland. Because of the fact there is no competition for them, they monopolise on it and they can charge whatever they want and in my eyes, illegally justify it. I reported Clinton's matter to Queensland's CMC, the Crime and Misconduct Commission, who of course investigated and found nothing wrong with the situation. I, found, I find it basically criminal because the CMC come across as if they're not even interested, that they don't care about the fact of the public trustee doing wrong towards anyone. They think that the trustees have justified everything and that's it. They don't want to push any further. Do I think that the public trustee have used my disability um, against me to hide the losses? Yes, I do. Because of the fact of um, my memory, I can't remember everything and they've played on that, I do believe. There are approximately 10,000 people and over a billion dollars worth of assets being managed by the Queensland Office of Public Trustee. How many of them are being treated like Clinton? Do I think other disabled people have been ripped off by the public trustee? Yes, I do. I truthfully, wholeheartedly do. Because I can't be the only one.